Void Interactive said that they were going to have something big for us on Friday, and they did not disappoint. What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just came out with another briefing. This one is called Motion Capture. Let's go ahead and just hop into it. it starts off by saying, Attention officers, welcome to the 59th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. September 8th, 2023, have your heads on a swivel because today we'll be looking at our brand new motion capture from a recent major multi-week motion capture shoot. For this mission, the team made a wonderful visit to our friends at bohemia interactive cool and their mocap facilities our development team here at void is thrilled so far with the result of this marathon of studio time and we're sure you will be too that's cool they actually work with bohemia no wonder freaking armor force taking 20 years they're helping out ready or not ambition through animation some major reasons for this specific motion capture session are the expansive scope in which we want to take our game and the high fidelity variety of animations we wish to include all with the consistent direction of law enforcement operations our expectations are best met by the affordances of optical motion capture with subsequent attentive tweaking to cinematics or gameplay. This is a massive team effort and the Void Animation team will be giving a more in-depth look into the entire process throughout this newsletter for what this brand new hall of animation data contains and what it means going forward. This is not our first time working with motion capture so we already knew quite early what we wanted to achieve. To ensure the highest quality we had both cinematic and gameplay animators at the mocap stage to oversee the entire shoot. Glimpses of just a slice of content from the past weeks of mocap are presented throughout below. Dramatic, cinematic, and tactical realism. Trained operators performing what they have been doing naturally in their jobs on stage to make an entire experience more authentic and immersive. This new motion capture data will be represented via compelling cutscenes, gameplay animations, and future trailers that will help bring Ready or Not's gripping story to life. Among six dedicated individuals who simultaneously donned their mocap suits for this shoot were several law enforcement professional stunt people with up to decades of close quarter combat career experience including tactical team leadership in close collaboration with our void developers we aim to act out scenarios that are grounded in tactical realism and fit for our integration into the game the combination of trained stunts and cqb experience also meant we had a unique opportunity to capture dynamic animations that will see a wide range of potential use it was especially a game changer and a humble learning experience experience to be able to consult with the operators directly on stage learning everything regarding cqb and swat tactics during the shoot now we have a video here a tactical team climbing into an overwatch position Ooh. the name of the video is called overwatch stack i don't know if these are actually uh unlisted i imagine they are they look unlisted so first off i want to say we got the bohemia logo right here that's pretty damn cool they're in like this cool little studio right here they got the suits on all right let's take a look So I wonder what this means. Does it mean we're actually going to get like brand new animations like in game or is this just straight up a cinematic? Maybe it's both. But either way, this is going to be some really cool looking animations if this is going to be going down. Or maybe this is just like a cinematic for like the beginning of the mission and we get and we start from like the top floor or maybe we're going to see a ladder and be able to uh, hop up it. Who knows? I've also heard that this could be the catalyst for bringing snipers into the game finally, but not entirely sure. But I really like how we actually, you know, see them working in like this cool little studio here that's pretty much that let's move on to the next thing with improved tactics shining in mocap performance for the swan operators comes revamped arrest animations allowing you to safely secure subjects with confidence using 20 variations of trained officers making arrests wow we're gonna have like 20 arrest animations that's pretty damn cool it goes without saying that all of their other movements as well were recorded and will find places across countless areas of swan portrayal in game also in the expected changes are improved variations between animation types such as suspect ai fake surrenders melee hostage taking and more we got another video here this one is about suspects engaging in bladed combat and the name of this video is called knife okay let's take a look at this bad boy Ooh, bohemia interactive that's so cool they got their suits on the cameras are all over the place this this is awesome this camera's even up here i think all right let's take a look okay idols and swing go <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. A pose. Cut there. It sounds like the guy that's guiding them right here sounds like he's from Australia or maybe New Zealand or something. Maybe that's the developer, but I don't know. If it was him, I feel like he wouldn't know this type of stuff, but who knows. But again, we see like these cool animations here. This one over here kind of seems like a basic guy, and this dude seems like a tweaker. Like he's like really out to get you. Whereas this guy just kind of like pulls up a knife and he's like, ah, I'm going to shank you. I like how he's directing him too. That's pretty cool. But moving on to the next thing here, true to life. Although our previous animation captures in game were serviceable, we wanted to to raise our standards even higher to scratch some of the surface. In this mocam session, we recorded over a hundred new death animations, more than 25 new movesets, and 90 or so new world building animations to ground you in the game world. The description of this one is SWAT in route to the scene. The name of this video is called Ride. Oh, let's take a look see here. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. What kind of vehicle would this be? Would they like sitting forward like this? Maybe they're in some sort of vehicle that has them both sitting this way, or maybe they're just in the SWAT vehicle? Whenever we see the SWAT in the vehicles, they're normally like sitting next to each other, facing the same direction. But this time it looks like it's like in a, a car, at least the way that these guys are facing. I'm not too sure. What vehicle is this? Or maybe maybe it's just a template in the same direction, and maybe they just like flip them around or something, or I don't know. Maybe. Very interesting though. Just wondering what vehicle that is. Moving on to the next thing here it says the updated performance brought by this motion capture will allow us to better convey the diverse array characters you will encounter in game run animations for different physiques for example will better portray each individual character rather than adhering to the basic running animation cycle we had in the past some new flea animations are even motivated by a bit of safe method acting through chases involving a sizable sledgehammer what this video below has a description of a stunt wire gag portrays an explosive level impact hmm stunt fall oh and he has a wire attached to him let's take a look so i guess when we put like c2 onto the door and there's someone just hiding behind it he just flings backward i guess let's take a look action when you're ready very cool or is it just when he gets like hit by a freaking battergram or something damn there's gonna be so many new animations it's gonna be ridiculous man it's gonna be like a brand new game all over again whenever that next update comes out 30 years from now but moving on to the final thing one more serious note the personal experiences of our officers will be better represented across the animation rigging with some having more military experience and also the continued inclusion of female operators well there you have it we're gonna have female operators apparently swat ai in game who have lore describing particular military training may be expected to act out traces of their animation behaviors that we found unique compared to those more purely steeped in law enforcement conventions and then they have a quote of somebody right here a big change in gameplay that will happen with all of the new data is how it will make the game more natural and smooth and SWAT will actually visually reflect all of the training and military experience they went through whereas previous animations were a rough estimation based on real reference mm. the description of this video says some smooth Smooth weapon transitions of trained operators. Let's take a look at the video here. Okay, so is this the military training guy? I wonder if, like, what's the difference? From what I understand, I guess this is um, somebody who's been in the military, whereas some other law enforcement are going to have different type of training. At least that's what it seems like to me. That's pretty cool. Definitely going to distinguish other characters from others. But moving on here. In conclusion, all in all... As a result of the mocap session, you will see a massively overhauled character animation across all areas. We want the immersive experience of our gameplay to be fully reflected and facilitated by how you move through it. With over 4 terabytes of spectacular data from this motion capture shoot alone, there will certainly be plenty to pull from as we forge ever forward achieving our ambitions. This concludes our 59th development briefing. Be sure to tune in next time for our next development news. So this was pretty damn cool, not gonna lie, this is probably one of the better briefings that i've seen in a while we're actually getting some news about a lot of cool stuff and it's great to see void actually working with bohemia like whoa i did not expect that can't wait to see all those animations i definitely can't wait to see all this but what are your guys' thoughts let me know down below be sure to like comment share do all that jazz and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye
I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting with Fear Operative, Brigadier24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever. You guys are what keeps the dream alive. If you would like to become a part of this list, become a member or join the Patreon to keep the channel going. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.